Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Alright. Bye. Union Pacific. $42.99. Oh boy. What'd she want? So we can go over there. We want. Okay. We got a slow moving Union Pacific freight train on a Canadian national train track. I just want to get some soda. I just want something to drink. That's the only reason I want to go someplace. Soda or tea or something. I don't know. Get some soda. If I get changed back, I'm going to play the machine. Episode Cat Namco versus Toy Chest, maybe. Thank you. <coughs> so, we got another. So, I have three train videos to upload. Two I done yesterday, and plus this one. Oh, he's picking up speed now. Which is good. At least this one ain't gonna stop. No, some of the train wheels are actually spinning faster than the cars are moving. Never seen one of those on a train go by before. Now, if you notice here, how the arm here ain't got the little peg like the one does in Altamont, because this one here doesn't sag like that like that one does. For some reason, the other one sags, so they have that little stop peg to keep it from going down and bending the heck out of the arm. A lot of people doing graffiti jobs on train cars. They do it when they park the trains at night or leave the cars sit in one certain spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. This may be a five minute train here. Three minutes and 40 seconds and counting up. Look at, if you notice all the train cars are looking the same. Same length, everything. Four minutes and count. Hey, those must be new. Yeah, those have to be new cars because okay. they're in good shape. Okay. Let's see how long it takes for these arms to go up, and we'll see. Who knows? Oh, it's rounded. All right. That's different. Four minutes, thirty-one seconds for the train to go through. Alright guys, there it goes.